Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for part 21 of our Valiant Hearts The Great War Let's Play. Last week we saw Emil get put into the, I believe it's called a stockade. Um, he's been arrested. Um, we are picking up with Carl and um, finding out what happened to him. So, without further ado, we'll get into it. The dogs of war, man's best and most loyal friend, shared the same day to day as the soldiers. Whether carrying messages, saving the wounded, or sweeping for mines, they never failed to fulfill their duty. What? <laughs> Just making sure there's no collectibles. If you ever wondered why I go like the wrong way, that's why. I'm trying to see if there's collectibles. Now I do know that there's like a quick time event thing coming up in this. Um, so be aware that I'm probably going to screw those up. So I haven't killed him yet. But yeah, I absolutely hated um, this particular one. Because I always make mistakes. So while I've got this nice and clean at the moment, um, it tends to be quite bloody by the end of it. Oops. So that was the first time making a bit of a mistake. Now if I'm not mistaken, this one does actually take a few sort of, you know, backwards and forwards okay, so I think it's a bit of like a bit of a maze and he continues to get like secure as it goes on while we're here. Um, those are the four collectibles and the only um, fact for this week is field hospitals. I always, like I said, I always do horribly in this. I tend to forget what's going on. But I think I'm not, I'm not too far from him this time. But, 
see who's gone back whoops, to the red. So I'm not doing very well in saving him. So if, if you whoops. Not paying attention there. This is probably whoops, the most brutal of the quick time event things in the game. And I tend to feel whoops. I tend to feel horrible doing it because it's there's no leniency. If you stuff it up basically you kill it. I should say that, like, for me, if you didn't know, my brain stumbles on this sort of stuff. Because uh, it, it can't analyze everything quick enough. Whoops. So obviously uh, this will be an edited video. Um, I'll probably just leave a thing on this to say it's edited because of the amount of times that I'm about to fucking murder by accident. Through that, okay. Did not get through that, okay. That wasn't too bad. Through that, okay. I spoke too soon. <sighs> so I really have to apologize, that's a lot of me murdering Carl. I always feel terrible. to forget three years of war and exile. <laughs> now let's stay home. After weeks without news of Emile, Marie finally received a letter from her father. So I'm just pausing here just for a quick moment to say this is probably going to be a little tough for some of you. Uh, 
it's been tough for me every time that I've gone through it. And I doubt that this will be any different. So I'm just warning you, this can be a little tough for some people. And some people might say that you're just too sensitive or whatever, but I don't particularly care. Um, I actually think it's it shows a strength in you if this is something that does affect you on some level. Uh, on some level, I should say. So, we'll carry on. Emile Chaillon. This is Emile. C'est l'heure. As a prisoner. And just to show that um, this isn't actually like scripted, you control a meal through this process. So if I stop, they stop. And if I walk, they walk. But if I stop, they stop. So I think it this makes it just that little bit harder. Dearest Marie, as the war ends for me, I have no regrets. I've seen too much horror. I hope fate has been more merciful to you. Our time on Earth is brief, and mine has been filled with so much joy that I can only be thankful for how much I've been blessed, most especially for the wonder you brought into my life. This letter is my last. I've been found guilty by a military court for the death of an officer. It was not my intention to kill him. War makes men mad. Though I failed, Carl, I know my sacrifice has not been in vain. I fought for my country and my liberty. My honor is assured. Since it is the will of God to separate us on earth, I hope we'll meet again in heaven. Keep me in your prayers. Your loving Baba. Always. Even though their bodies have long since returned to dust, their sacrifice still lives on. We must strive to cherish their memory and never forget. It may not be a game that a lot of people would be interested in playing. But uh, personally, I think that it's one that people should play. At least once in their lives. Um, I think it's a good game for 
reflecting on not only like the horrors of war but how important it is to cherish your families and I don't just mean blood family because family doesn't need to be blood you don't need to be related to the people that are your family at the end of the day I suppose it's like the Beatles said all you need is love that's what makes a family so thank you for joining me while I played through this game um, I honestly don't know where we will be going from this point um, I don't know what the next game is going to be um, but thank you for sticking with me through all of this um, I suppose it might be cheesy to say you know hug your family or tell the people that you love that you love them but I think that's important because to be honest while I've been playing through this game I've had to go through a lot of very very tough things in my own life so I thank you people for being there most of all I am very grateful to my best friend Elisa for being there while I go through everything um, and yeah thank you everyone so until next time take care of yourselves bye